right, movers and shakers. First up, a house in London, which is only about one and a half metres wide in places, is on the market for more than $1.2 million. The house is perfect for a young couple, or Kate Moss. <laughs> but it has great potential. Potentially, it could be an alley. <laughs> the bathroom is so tiny, if you want to pee, you have to go outside and do it through the window. <laughs> and if you actually eat in the dining room, you can't get out again. But the house is wide enough to swing a cat if you really don't like your cat anymore. <laughs> Corinne, you like to swing with the cats. Ever lived in a strange house? I've lived with strange people. Um, and strange things have happened in houses. Uh, I lived in one house that was set on fire. Yeah. Well, my favourite line ever on Home and Away was on a house fire. Do you remember when Elsa got caught in the house and the no. house was on fire and Elf came out and we went, we've got to get Elsa out, that's me flaming wife in there. <laughs> I lived in one of those houses where we had a big party because two people were going away and, um, you know, after the toilet got spray painted and we had to cut the lino out of the kitchen, we got evicted, strangely <laughs> enough. And it was one of those houses where it had just been going for like five years and people kept moving in. And as we cleaned it out, we just kept finding all this weird stuff and then there was a cupboard just full of bricks. Mm. <laughs> just bricks. And that wasn't in the description to begin with, no, was it? No, no, but th what made it even weirder was one of the girls we were moving with insisted on taking the bricks with us. <laughs> them all into a box and, and you know when the removalists came around they really did say jesus what's in here bricks <laughs> yes <laughs> yes I reckon the, uh, the hardest thing to pack is actually books because that's yeah. where your love of Tetris really mucks you up. Because yeah. you shove everything in and then you try to pick it up and your eyeballs pop out and your lungs explode and removalists are walking around with fridges on their shoulders going, I'm not picking that up. Yeah. <laughs> you actually, have to do half books, half linen. Ah. Ah. I tried to get a couch down a set of stairs once when I was moving out of a place and I couldn't do it. I went and got it, bought an axe and <laughs> chopped it up in the stairwell. <laughs> And, I, and it cost me money because when I was swinging, I was hitting the path. What about you? Have you ever had uh, trouble in the house? Do you have to have the house modelled especially for you? Because seriously, like, if you went to the toilet, like, it's a long way away from you. <laughs> not when you, uh, like myself, it's not that far away. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought you were going to say, not like when you're like me and you're accurate. <laughs> do, you, do you ever do it like on a basketball court? You're like, today from here, I'll oh, bugger it, three points. <laughs> uh, yeah. What about, is there anything in the ads that they, they always lie about? Like, what's... Oh, the, the, you know what, my, my... I've just moved in with a mate called Steve. Like, we moved into a place, we were told uh, we were getting a spa, and we were, ooh, yeah, frat well, parties, yeah. woo! Wow. And we got in and sat down. It is a bath with bubbles. It is <laughs> tiny, and it's so tiny, if I was to sit in it with a girl, it'd be hot and intimate. But if I was to sit in it with Steve-O, gay. <laughs> How do you go in baths, Andrew? You must have trouble with baths. They're not normally very big. Nah, no, they're not. Uh, but, uh, no, I'd, uh, I've never really had any problems with any baths. That uh, the baths are okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about showers? Though they only come up to your stomach. Yeah, some of the showers in the hotels, you, mm. yeah, you sort of got to duck down real low and and get that. But my one at home, it's specially made, so it's right up nice yeah. and high. So the thing about Andrew is he is tall, but he still does bend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.